What if Deku was Hero Brian? Part four. As we go to Hero Brian, as it's been a couple of days, as Wing, if I remember, the flying wither skeleton returns. So I went to check out the place you told me to. Near the hero, pretty much in the Hero Safety Commission building. I believe there is a connection. Good. In that case, we're moving my plan up a schedule. What are you doing? I have no interest in this world anymore. Although I'd love to conquer it. If I do, who knows who may come out of that portal. And I have to stop Entity 303 from stepping on my territory. So we're heading back to the overworld. Back to the overworld? But what about your plans here? I'm scrapping all them. All for one is too... Uh, too eager for his plans. He wants them to work. And he'll... Time and all that. I don't have the time to just sit around and wait while someone is marching in my territory. Taking everything that is mine. So I will be heading back to the overworld. We'll be attacking the Hero Safety Commission building later. In a, about a day or so. When everyone is at the USJ. Oh sorry. I still remember being All Might there. At the sports festival. That way all the top heroes are gone and out of the way. Leaving for me to swoop in and us to go through whatever portal is there. And then? And then what, sir? We destroy it. But won't we not have a way back? Because he looks back. Why well, have this place where it's a lot more confusing? When you can have a place that is more vast... And you already have full control over nearly an entire area. This world will cause me a lot of nuisances, but I could definitely defeat them all. The people here are very annoying. I could turn them to undead, and their powers are very interesting. But this world just isn't the same than my original. Especially, I have scores to settle there. If I make them here, well, there's going to be a few things wrong. What about the student? Leave him. All for one can do what he wants. <clears throat> Prepare my forces. We attack in about a few hours. Very well, sir. As that zombie comes in with coffee. Ah... <sighs> As he takes coffee, enjoy it. This will be the last taste of it, unfortunately. This is the only bonus of this world. Coffee. Gotta say, never thought I'd get a liking to this. But, as he drinks it, as the Wither Skeleton also drinks it, I gotta say, it's really soothing. It feels like home. The Nether? Yeah, kinda, actually. I don't want to even know how you made that connection. And I kind of just don't care. So, let's move on. As they would prepare for their attack on the Hero Safety Commission building, at the same time the sports vessel would be going on. As Hero Brian would, well, teleport the zombies in front of the Hero Safety Commission building, easily overwhelming the security. As they're walking the halls, him and the Wither Skeleton. As they reach the bottom. As All for One does get the announcement and does figure out that the Hero Safety Commission is being attacked. And he's asking, what is he doing? Why was he attacking the Hero Safety Commission building? I told him to call it chaos, yes, but I already got the files. What is he doing? As we see over footage that Hero Brian and the Wither Skeleton walking down a hall. Before they come to a hidden door. As Hero Brian just slashes his sword, breaking the wall. Revealing a hidden staircase. You first, sir? Why, thank you. 
as Hero Brian makes his way down the steps into a huge room with a giant portal. Such a massive portal as he snaps his finger as a whole bunch of TNT appears in the room. You go first, Wither Skeleton, but leave me behind and it will be your last. Yes, sir. As the worst skeleton goes into the portal. As Hero Brian gets on the portal, as he turns back, as several heroes have managed to arrive and come down, as he smirks as he lights the TNT, which sets off a chain reaction which causes the building to collapse, crushing the portal. As we go to the overworld, as well, Hero Brian appeared out. Ah, much better. As the portal just seemingly evaporates, turning to dust. Well, I guess we're no longer going back to that world. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I prefer this one either way. I admit it was intriguing for a time. But I'm not a patient man. I wasn't going to wait and do all for one's plan. I could have easily gotten rid of him. But I kind of wanted to let things play out. What do you mean? I may not be able to be there. But I did make something. As he tosses something in the air. As it's an orb, as he grabs it. As he can now see through the dimensional barrier into the My Hero world. I use my very powerful things to make it a little bit of a device to where I can check up on their world, see what they're doing if I wanted to. But transportation on their world is physically impossible at the moment. I see. Well, anyway, as then we hear a shout, Hero Brian! Whoa, of course you would be the first to find me, as he turns his head. Entity 303. Where have you been? Oh, you know, here, there, in another dimension. Another what? Ah, oh, did he not hear me? As he looks at the word skeleton, did he seriously not hear me? I literally said I was in another dimension. Nah, you gotta be lying. We literally can go to the nether and the end. You really think I'm lying about this? As he just shuts up, that's what I thought. And if you're thinking of a rematch, maybe later. I've got something better to do, like rebuild my army. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a kingdom to destroy. As he'd seemingly walk off, leaving NT-303 dumbfounded. And that is the end of the What If Deku Was Hero Brian series. I'm sorry this was short and came to an end so suddenly. But hopefully you all enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Um, yeah, so bye.